till now we have made a network which has 100 people of different different body weights and then we have five social foci including a gym and an eat out place and we have seen that initially everybody is a part of exactly one social foci and with time people will start becoming the parts of more social foci because of membership closer next what we want to implement in this coding what we want to uh, happen in this network is homophily that is the people who are having similar bmi should become friends with each other so we are going to use a very simple method to do it so we see that the probability of two people becoming friends with each other is inversely proportional to the difference between their bmis so more is the difference between your bmis less probable two people are to become friends with each other so if let's say a person is underweight having a bmi of 15 and a person is overweight having a bmi of 40 so it's very unlikely that they will become friends and if two people they have almost the same bmi let's say 25 each then they are likely to become friends so we can directly use a formula that probability of two people becoming friends with each other is inversely proportional to the difference between their bmis so probability of an edge between u and v is proportional to 1 divided by the absolute difference between them so we take absolute to avoid a negative there so we have an absolute there and we add an extra factor of plus 1000 here why do we add an extra factor of plus 1000 here is if you see by this formula if we do not have a thousand here and let's say the bmi is of two people are equal let's say 25 each then the probability of them becoming friends becomes 1 by 0 which is infinity so we have a thousand here which not only help us deal with this infinity issue what it does is it reduces all the probabilities so although the probability of one person becoming connected to another is remains inversely proportional to the difference between their bmis but we want these probabilities to be less because since we want to see the network to be evolving we do not want a lot of edges to enter at the same time so edges should come slowly and slowly so this plus 1000 helps us reduce all the probability values it scales all the probability values down so we use this formula for implementing homophily and one interesting concept here which i would like to tell you you see here what we are going to do is here are two people let's say uh, a and b and we are saying that uh, assume the probability with which a and b become friends is 0.4 so there is a 40% chance that a and b become friends and 60% chance that they do not become friends how do we implement this in our coding so this uh, random package helps us do this so what i do is assume i pick a random number uh, random real number from a number line from 0 to 1 as shown here i want some event to happen with a probability of 0.4 so now i have a random number here between 0 and 1 so i pick a random number let's say it's here what is the probability that this random number is less than 0.4 so since this random number can be anywhere on this number line if you see the probability that this random number is less than 0.4 is actually 0.4 itself so 0 to 0.4 is a smaller slot 0.4 to 1 is a bigger slot so there is a lesser probability of this number falling below 0.4 and there is a higher probability it lies in the range 0.4 to 1 so we'll be using this method to implement what we are saying so assume there are two nodes u and v and we want them to become friends with probability 40% 0.4 what we'll do is generate this random number r from 0 to 1 and if its value is less than 0.4 we make an edge between these two people otherwise we do not make an edge 
so now before implementing homophily i want to do one extra thing so when we have added color to our node so we have added blue color for the person node and red color for the fukai nodes what i want to see is i want to see underweight and overweight people separately i want the underweight people to appear in let's say green color and overweight people to appear in yellow color so that when we look at this graph across different different time stamps we can see that how the number of people are changing and how the clustering between them is happening so what we do here is if g dot node each type equals to equals to person and then further we have if g dot node each name equals to equals to 15 so what we do is in this case c dot append and what do we append here is a green and then we have else if which is written as alif in python so alif g dot node each name equals to equals to 40 so if it is 40 c dot append and what do we append here is a yellow color and still if some node is left obviously many nodes are left having the bmi in between these two then we do c dot append blue let's save it and next let's look at the output so you see here the graph looks i think all the more beautiful now so we have these nodes so blue nodes are mostly the normal nodes red nodes are the fukai nodes so here you see all the nodes having bmi of 40 comes in the yellow color and all the nodes having this bmi of 15 comes in the green color next we go ahead and implement homophily in this network so let's see how do we implement homophily so after adding foci edges what we want to do is we want to implement homophily so what does homophily do so what we'll be implementing here will be one iteration of homophily what does homophily say is nodes which are alike similar to each other they tend to become friends with each other and we have already looked at the formula for this so we define homophily here define homophily g and what does it do first of all it gets all the person nodes so person node equals to get persons nodes because you see homophily is only going to happen between the people not the social foci so this function is explicitly defined for the person nodes so we get all the person nodes and for uh, simplicity let's simply name this array as p nodes p nodes refer to person nodes so p nodes equals to get persons nodes you, you can also notice here that I am nowhere past the parameter g here because g here is being considered as a global parameter. Okay, p nodes equals to get persons nodes. So, I have all the person nodes. Now, I want to see whether their BMI is similar to each other and if it is similar to each other, I will add edges between them. What I do for u in p nodes, so u is my first node for u in p nodes. And then I have for V in P nodes. So it picks each of the person nodes. Every possible combi combination of two person nodes one by one. And obviously my U should not be equal to V. Because a person is not going to make tie with himself. So if U is not equals to V. What do we do? Is we calculate this difference in their BMI. So what is the difference in their BMI? It is the absolute value of absolute value of g dot node each i'm very sorry g dot node u name which carries the bmi of this person minus g dot node v name so i have this difference here 
after having this difference what is the probability that these two notes will connect to each other as we have seen is inversely proportional to this difference greater the difference lesser the probability lesser the difference higher the probability so probability of these people connecting is 1 divided by this difference plus 1000 so we have this 1000 here to keep this probability small and next as discussed before we have a random number r random real number r which takes its value from 0 to 1 and if this r is less than p what do we do is g dot add edge between u and v. I think it's clear. So what we do is we calculate the difference between two nodes. Probability of these nodes connecting is inversely proportional to this difference. And with this probability these two nodes connect in every iteration. Let's see. So what we want to do is let's visualize the graph once before homophily and once after homophily. So this is our graph before homophily. Okay, this is our graph before homophily. And this is our graph after homophily. So you can see here now we have many many relationships across different clusters. So these nodes previously they existed in different clusters. But you can see now our graph has become connected. And more and more people has connected with each other. So here we have an edge between 35, 25, 25, 39, 39, 27 and so on. And these edges are in accordance with their body weights, BMIs. So we can make this probability actually a little lesser if you want less number of edges to be added at every step. So that is totally up to us. So we can increase this probability of connection. We can decrease this probability of connection. But the probability should be inversely proportional. So if you want to decrease the number of edges being added at every step, what we can do is we can make this value all the more higher and this probability gets less here. So you see here that this was our initial network and this is our new network. So you see here less number of uh, edges have been added. Less number of edges have been added here. 